Was the word a god? Or was the word God? An opinion of Dr. Galen Curra. Those calling themselves Jehovah's Witness publish an unusual version of the Bible called New World Translation. In that version, John 1 1 reads, The Word was a God. Whereas all other English translations read, The Word was God. JWs base their translation on the absence of the Greek definite article the before the word theos, God. There are lengthy scholarly refutations of their translation, but there is a simpler approach that you can employ with JWs even if they do not know Greek. Dr. Heiser poses two queries of John chapter 1. First, are there any other instances in John 1 where Theos lacks the definite article? Secondly, if there are, does it make any sense to translate those occurrences a god instead of God? In the following chart of eleven verses from John chapter 1, in which the Greek word theos occurs, it is highlighted in yellow and the definite article highlighted in red. We make three observations from this chart. First, the noun theos occurs six times without a definite article in verses 1-1, 1-6, 112, 113, and 118. Secondly, the JW's version translates Theos without a Greek article four times God in 16, 112, 113, and 118a. Now, how would their translation read? if all occurrences of Theos without a Greek article were translated a god. Verse 1-6 would read, There came a man who was sent as a representative of a god. One twelve, He gave authority to become a god's children. One thirteen. They were born from a god. And 118a, no man has seen a god at any time. For reasons of grammar, logic, usage, context, and coherence, the better translation remains, the word was God. Thus all of John's gospel, including John 1.1, 1, 1, stands as an affirmation of the Godhood of Jesus Christ, the Eternal Word, who has become incarnate in human flesh.